Hello, I'm Dr. James Bogash, expert in health and longevity and creator of Bogash Life and Balance. And today we're going to talk about prostate cancer, which should only affect about half of you. Um, but the thing is that um, pro we hear prostate cancer, same thing with things like DCIS with breast cancer and mammography. Is we hear cancer and we instantly panic and we think, oh my gosh, do whatever you need to do to get rid of it, regardless of the cost. And clearly things like um, prostatectomy and, and uh, radiation has its concerns and downsides. So there's this thing called active surveillance where as long as certain criteria are met, that it is acceptable to just follow the cancer along and make sure that things don't progress. Well, it was initially really hard to get data on active surveillance because nobody wanted to do that because we're in that same, oh my gosh, I have cancer, just take it out mentality. And it turns out when they finally got enough people to do active surveillance, that the data was actually pretty good that they could follow them along if they kept a track of these markers, a lot of men could escape having surgery. And this was without changing a damn thing. So the same lifestyle that put you into cancer, don't change anything, and the numbers are actually pretty good. Well, from my standpoint, that's a ridiculous approach, and yet that's the approach we take. So what if we started making some pretty radical changes with somebody who is diagnosed with prostate cancer and put under active surveillance? I'm confident that the numbers we would get if people changed their dietary habits, less dairy, exercise, sunlight exposure, that we'd see some pretty dramatic outcomes with active surveillance. Just to give you an idea, what if we just picked one of those and that would be exercise and specifically high intensity exercise, which I happen to be a very big fan of. So like for me, we have an elliptical at the house. I'll typically recommend 30 seconds of intensive exercise. Your rest time is however long it takes your heart rate to come back down to normal. And I recommend 10 sets of this. So in this, uh, it was a small group of 52 men. They followed them for 12 weeks doing the high intensity training. And they found there was a low, those people did the, had a, um, not only did their cardiovascular fitness improve, and by the way, um, somebody, a patient, a man who's on active surveillance is three times more likely to die of cardiovascular reasons than prostate cancer reasons. So protecting your heart is really important. And so something like short burst exercise would make sense. But not only that, but in these studies, heart function, uh, cardiovascular fitness got better, cardiorespiratory fitness, but also the PSA levels came down, the PSA velocity, so the changes came down, and there was less lymph node growth of the tumors, everything that we want, just from something as simple as adding exercise. Now imagine if we encompassed everything into people doing this active surveillance, those outcomes would be fantastic. But mainstream oncology has to get on board with understanding that lifestyle changes are our most important and powerful tool for not only preventing, but managing cancer. As always, I'll post a link to this particular study in the uh, description. Make sure you like this video, share it with somebody who you think needs the information, and subscribe to the channel.